Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Cruise here, checking in at Eurobike 2019. I'm making my way around the booths and found my way here at Turn Bicycles. They had some really interesting cargo bikes, commuter bikes, and a couple other cool bikes that really caught my eye. So I thought I'd show you guys a quick tour. So let's have a quick look. So starting here, right next to me, we've got the Helsinki, which is decked out here with some giant bottles of Coca-Cola up here in the front. So this thing has a massive rack and massive rear rack here in the back as well. E-bike, belt drive, and yeah, let's take a look at some of the specs over here. So this thing costs about 3,800 euro, 25 kilograms, a bit heavy, but it's got the Nexus 8 internal hub, gates belt drive, and all the storage capacity, front suspension. Looks like a nice comfy city bike. Let's take a look at the front handlebar setup, which comes with a built-in light, which I'm assuming is powered by the same battery or charged with the hub. That'd be really great if it's charged by the hub. And let's see what groceries we're carrying. So we've got a nice little baguette, some pineapple, pumpkin, and some flowers, and some Wesley, and some wine. Man, they got the full European combination, minus the pineapple. It doesn't seem very European to me. And they've got the same bike here. It's kind of folded up over here so you can see this thing can actually get pretty compact, so the front handlebars and front stem sort of folds down up here. That's pretty nifty. So you can just stand it up on its side. So if you have limited storage space in your apartment, you can just stand this up like this. That's really cool. Let's make our way around, see some of the other bikes that they've got here as well. This one's got the adapter for the child seat on the back, battery here, and this one's a normal chain drive, but also looks like it's got some assist, so e-bike, and a bit cheaper since we don't have the belt drive system, 3,200 euro. Pretty cool. And also you can mount your bottle up here in the front rack, that's pretty cool. So it looks like those mountain holes are actually built into the rack itself. You can strap your backpack on here, better than carrying it on your back. And these are some of the other bikes here that really caught my eye. These are the cargo bikes. Look at the capacity on this. This is just ridiculous. And it looks like this one has two batteries, double the power, and also front rack as well. So what model is this? This is the GSD Cargo Box. 320 liters, total load 50 kilograms, and lockable. Let's see the price. So this one's about 4,000 euros, 27 kilograms, Normal chain, drive chain, and Bosch system here. Here's the container. So we've got a little gap here for the wheel. And yeah, this looks really nifty. Here's our key so we can lock this up. So I don't think you need this for a normal commuter, but if you have some sort of delivery business or need to move some big stuff around, this is really cool. So an even bigger container here. This one actually is a trailer pulled behind this bike. So. So actually, I guess this is the same bike. You can see this is the kickstand here. So we've got the double side kickstand for extra support. We've got the double batteries again. And this is our trailer mount here. So this bolts on right here. This is pretty cool. So when you detach the trailer, you've actually got some handles that you can hold onto it here. And there's actually a brake mount. So in case you need to slow it down, you can use that. And it looks like that's a cable brake system. So here it just goes to rim brakes. So, wow, this thing is just at least twice or if not three times bigger than this other one we just looked at. And we've also got some lock capacity here, so not sure what situation you'd ever really be able to use this for, but man, that's really cool. Let's take a look at another one of their cargo bikes here. So this is decked out with a pizza delivery style. Of course, with the Coca-Cola up front with a giant one liter Coca-Cola bottle rack here. So this is the PZA, built for business, low maintenance. So built to carry insulated bags and of course, extra large pizza boxes. And there's a space here so you can put your logo for your brand. And then this is the insulated bag that fits in here in the back. So perfect if you're doing food delivery. Let's take a look at the front setup here. Eight speed and we've got our controls here for the support. Here's another one. This is the HSD S8i. Man, they've got some confusing names. They gotta work on their naming. But the bikes are cool. This one's 3,800 euros, 25 kilograms, 
Bosch system again, Gates belt drive again, and a cool bright yellow color. So here we got the battery again, and it looks like there's another padded section here, so it looks like this is another container that you can put stuff in. Doesn't look like you can access it on this side, but there's some straps right there, so you can probably open it from the other side. And this one's got some pannier bags on the side, so this one's built up with a kind of medical first response kind of setup. Are we having bike riding first responders now? I like the concept at least. Also, here we go. This can probably explain it better than I can, so learn more at their hashtag here, Bikes for Business. This is the GSD, so full day of battery, range of 250 kilometers, and this seems to be having the heaviest bulk, so GSD, super large bulk, and then the smaller bulk is the HSD, and then the next level down appears to be the PZA. Love the name, PISA, easy to remember. So they get bonus points on that one for their naming sense. Pretty cool brand. And this is their booth here. So they've got a pretty massive booth set up and some shipping containers up there, man. This must have taken a long time for them to set up. Really decked out. And we got some of their other bikes here folded inside these cases. So here's a bike with a child seat and <laughs> they've got some safety rails for them to hold on here and so they don't fall off. And I'm sure you can put some bags in here so they don't move around as well. Some extra mounts here for your water bottles. Looks like they really thought out these racks and mounting systems. So we've got one here for your lock. These are one of the super strong, hard to break locks. And another front mounting system here. This is the bag that looks like it's detachable here with a key. So you can lock your bag in place here. So yeah, this is also a turn bag. So a custom bag built for this setup. Very cool. We've also got a guard here to protect your child's feet from getting in the drive chain. That would not be pretty. And also there's even a step rack. That's really cool. I don't know how they'd climb up into this. I think you'd have to pick them up and drop them in there. That's the only way you're getting them in there. Otherwise they have to be like a monkey, have ninja skills. Looks like they got some other more simplistic folding bikes here as well. Let's take a look at this one. Another one here. And here we go, we've got them folded down so they get pretty compact. Not super important in America where I'm from, but in Asia where I live, I actually live in Japan for people who don't know, you have to get your bikes down pretty small, folded up and put in a bag to bring them on the train. If you're on a normal road bike, you need to take off the wheels. So these folding bikes are super useful if you live in an area with public transportation where you will be taking them on trains or if you live in a small apartment where you just need to fold things down. Here's an example of that. You can see it folds down and you can put this case around it so it looks like a normal suitcase. And we've also got some wheels on here so once it's folded down, you can roll it like a normal suitcase. Really convenient, really thought out. And anyway, there's some really nifty bikes here. I'm still pretty new to the world of cargo bikes and this is kind of the first time for me to see a lot of these different options here. If there's any other really cool cargo bikes out there that you guys know of, Leave your comments down below in the comments if you have any experience, especially with using cargo bikes and what you recommend and what to look out for when you're looking for these kinds of bikes. Be sure to leave your opinions down below in the comments and let me know. That's going to be it for this video. I'm going to continue on and try and find some more interesting booths, some more interesting products to show you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more videos about Eurobike, more videos about cycling. And we'll see you guys next time here on Tool Cruise.